Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Buildcraft 6. Here with me, Chillum. Hello. Again, with the weird intro. I don't know what's going on with me lately. I don't know. I'm sorry. Anyhow, we're in Lag City, pulling a healthy, hmm, 20-ish frames a second, maybe. So, uh, yeah, bear with it, because we've got the engines on. Uh, and the reason is, we've been, um, well, I came back and I AFK'd for pretty much a whole day, and I made a load of new redstone crystals. And I've decided on a bunch of robots to take back with us. I needed more stuff. Um, for the big project at the other end um, because I realized you know there's stuff we need to do with delivery robots and I want to do some stuff with some carriers and I need to get another lumberjack on to go at least I think did I, did I choose a lumberjack I did choose a lumberjack to go in so let's quickly make these um, while we're here because it shouldn't take too long at all and while we're doing this and I'm traveling back and stuff what I thought I would do is I would have a little bunch of thank yous and oh my gods and you guys are greatness oops hello let's get that out of there um moments because there's a lot of people I want to say thank you to not least of which is you right now watching this as I'm making these robots thank you so much for all the time you've spent watching me do all this stuff and doping around with these worlds thank you so much for just being here and chucking out some support and the occasional like it's uh, it's been really good fun putting all of this together for you and I'm so glad so many of you are enjoying this series in particular, which is pretty damn awesome. So, number one, thank you to you. Now, oh, I've got a whole ton of stuff in here. So let's put these two away. I don't have... The reason I had to stop making robots is because I ran out of diamonds, <laughs> pretty much. So I can't make diamond chipsets anymore, which means I can only make this many. So that is the lot I chose. Oh, I found the path template as well, which I'm going to take with me, just for funsies. And, um, oh, pipe plugs. Yeah, we'll have some of them. Let's take some more emerald gates. Why not? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We don't have any red wire here. I think I took a ton with me. We'll grab that and we'll take some more various bits and bobs. Now, I can't remember exactly what I came back for, but it was mainly the robots. Oh, we need docking stations. Thank you, Brain. Thank you for that. I think I remember seeing a whole ton of... Yes. Golden chipsets. Right, let's just make a ton of these. Um, oh, and that's where I put my iron. Curses. Anyhow, while I'm pottering about... In fact, I know there's some in the... Um, in the house. So while I'm pottering around, it's night time. Um, my next thank you needs to go to the devs, and I'm talking about Space Toad, but more recently, AEC. Now I'm not entirely sure how to say your name. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir, madam, madam, sir. Um, but the this person, AEC, has taken over the development of Buildcraft since the RF integration, as it was, and has been responsible for a heck of a lot of work and has done some amazing stuff. So thank you so much. I'm so sorry I haven't said anything before I've just been getting my stuff together obviously with my entire life <laughs> and moving and everything has been a lot of effort but yes yeah, so thank you a ton to you my dear friend for all of your work on Buildcraft to date and obviously um, Space Toad and all the other developers as well I don't want to alienate anybody but they're the ones that seem to be in the public eye the most so they're the ones that I know of so thank you to you guys and especially AC Lately please tell me how to say your name <laughs> Um, and after that, it's just got to be stuff like, you know, thanks to Infuego and Brink and, oh my god, let's see if I can remember everybody, Catdog, um, Blizzard, Aaron Schnicks, uh, oh my god, I know I'm forgetting people, Dr. Ragehard, uh, all the other Primus members, oh my god, if I've forgotten anybody, I'm going to be so sad, Infuego, I think I said already, um, all the guys on Primus, everyone, every one of you. And I feel like I get now if I've actually forgotten someone, but not on purpose. Please forgive me. Um, so yeah, all the guys. I've had a heck of a time the last few months getting through my actual life. A lot of horrible things have gone through and happened, and I've been through a lot of stuffs, which I don't really want to go into too much because this is this is about games, um, and this is what it's been as well for me. I came on here, and these guys have been fantastic. They've sort of stuck with me as I've been going through all the hell and not producing much content for the videos and. They've been there when I needed them, they've been on Skype, and you know, they kept me sane for the times I was away uh, in my darkest era over the last few months. So thank you very much to all of the Primus boys, you guys are great. Uh, and in particular, um, in Fuego. Now in Fuego, <laughs> we have a little bit of a history. Um, we go back about, only about a year or so, would you believe? Um, but uh, he started watching me ages and ages and ages ago. And I eventually invited him on to Childcraft when we were doing the Resident Rise server. And possibly one before that, I can't remember now. Uh, and that's when we became friends and we started talking. Now, oh, 
this this journey is going to be horrible. So maybe I'll maybe I'll find some pictures of cats or something while we're walking and talking. Um, oh, I brought some more food as well. Good. So yeah, he started watching me, and then over time, I realised that he was a crackingly good builder. Um, really, really enjoyed his stuff, and he was a good man to talk to. You know, we started speaking on Skype and all the rest of it, and you know, we got to, got to know each other a bit better. And I was like, you know, dude, you should. Uh, we should put out some videos and stuff. So um, he started to, which is great. So yeah, thanks to Infuego for taking my advice. But also, mainly, this series that you're watching right now, Buildcraft 6, is his um, brainchild, as it were. He was the one that sort of came up with it um, and suggested I should try and do it. And it was just as BC6 was coming out, so all this new stuff was happening, and it was before the RF update, or really before we even knew about robots so much. Um, and I was like, okay, and just started running with it. And then this this happened, all of this, and you guys are loving this. So this is awesome. So you can thank Infuego, who's on some level <laughs> technically my agent, shall we say. See that air quotes? Agent. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, you can thank Infuego for this. But I think that's it. We've made it all the way here. And I think I managed to say thank you to everybody I wanted to say thank you. But again, once again, to you, my dear viewer and viewers, all you guys, thanks so much for sticking with me and, uh, and watching us do all this silly, silly sodding around. So, we have ourselves a whole bunch of new robots and we're back at the mining area. Now, none of this, um, only the quarry would have been chunk loaded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, now I had the, uh, I had the lumberjack and the pickers and the stuff going for a little while. So, we can see what kind of a mess they've made. Now, this is a bit of a problem. I think I need to get a leaf cutter on the go to clear these leaves and maybe then the lumberjacks will take out the wood underneath. But I don't know. I think I'm going to have to manually go through and clear these. And this is why I suddenly thought I wanted to use spruce instead of oak. <laughs> so I think we have got some spruce in here. We've got four spruce. God damn it. I knew I should have brought some more spruce with me. Never mind. Well, uh, this is not the first time I've popped back in here. So we've got a painter doohickey here for our zone planning. And that's essentially what this big area where you can see all these trees growing in is roughly about. If we go up here quickly, I'll just show you. And there we go. Um, so yeah, you can see there's a rough area, and I need to clear all of these out and get him get this buggers producing spruce wood instead of oak, so we get more consistent tree growth, and it'll be easier for them to clear. These little guys have been running like the clappers. I've done a few rounds of four stacks of uh, coal or charcoal. I don't know how much you had in here. Not much was left. So a little bit. They do work. I've turned them all off while I was away, just in case. But they seem to have survived. I think before these used to go pop off when you jump between dimensions, which is a little bit crazy. Um, and I ran a second little quarry. And honestly, the amount of charcoal you need to run one of these is ludicrous amounts. So you can see it's almost down to the bottom. Oh, look, it's actually emerald right there. Son of a gun. And just as I run out of power as well. Let's check out the boxes. I know, I know there's one really cool thing in here. Got some gold, got some iron. That's cool. Got some more gold, and then in here, yeah, it's our first actual emerald, which is awesome. We can do stuff with that, but I think I want two before I start doing like loads of stuff with it. But we're here anyhow. Let me, um, hmm, I need to get these bots configured. I wanted to add the, um, uh, where's he gone? Do, 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 the night bot. So I'm gonna have to get him some swords and other bits and bobs so he can protect the area while I'm working. That was thanks to uh, one of my guys, um, god damn it, I can't remember if it was Aduki or uh, Shivish here, anyhow. Um, thank you for that idea. Great idea. So we're getting that set up. So the plan is, what I really want to do is start automating this cold stuff here, which is why I've got a delivery bot and a couple of carriers as well. Um, oh, I've got another picker. Picker, little, 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 crafter. Oh, I only bought one of each. One delivery, one carrier. So hopefully that'll be enough to get some stuff going. But yeah, let me um, let me mess about. I think we need to tidy some stuff up here and actually get some sort of structure built as well. But we'll work on that later. I think for now I just want to get a few bits of going. So. Give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. Right, I didn't get much done. <laughs> I just thought I'd jump in and show you what I was thinking. So I've placed these docking stations here and I've got two and one here. So what I was pondering was I would stick the knight up this end like so. And then I wanted to get the other picker and the other, well, I brought a crafter with me as well. Awesome, and the other lumberjack here. So if I plonk one there, he's off. And if I put picker there, he's off. Now, that's a little bit of a problem, unfortunately. I need to get, oh, we've got an emerald gate there. That's cool. Uh, and a basic, uh, maybe a basic gate will do for this as well, just so I can give them control um, and let them know what I want them to do. 
when I want them to do it. So the Emerald Gate is going to go there because it needs to control those two. You go there. And we're just going to say while... Oh, crappers. I need to uh, wrap them both in redstone as well, like so. So we're going to say you... While there's no red pipe signal, I want you to go... Go to station. Uh-oh. Well, that failed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's get rid of that. Turn that off. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we've got to be careful between how we flip between the options on the on the doohickey. That's grand. Let me find my... Do, 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 do. do I not bring a gate copier with me? Son of a gun. Oh, I had one. I'm sure I had one. I must have had one because... Oh, no, no, I wouldn't have done... Oh, poop. Okay, no gate copier, which is a bugger. Because I don't seem to have the map either. Oh, no, where did I put all of these things? All my useful stuffs. I've left them somewhere else. I must have emptied stuff at the other end. Oh no, which means I've got no way of copying this gate information over. And I don't have the map location stored anywhere either. Well, god damn it, this is just a classic cock-up. I want to start renaming this uh, series to Cock-Ups by Chillum and Bill Croft. Um, right, well I'm going to have to run back. That's fantastic. I don't have... I, I need like a gate, uh, a little red chipset. Oh, nutsacks. Oh well. Okay, well, I'll go back and be back. I'll see you in a bit. Ah, oh, blessed be the sounds of dawn. Hooray! I made it back with a gate copier. Ha <laughs> ha! More pumpkins. And I even brought da -da -da -da, some spruce back. And cleared out all of this area here. So we're ready to roll with all the stuff. Now what I realise is I haven't even made any swords for um, my night guy. So let's quickly... <laughs> I can make one sword. So hopefully he's not going to run off and get this straight away. But once it's in here, it will stay for a second. He should stick around until we activate him. That's cool. Right, let's grab ourselves a copy of that gate. Oh, blimey t -burp. Fantastic. And we shall paste it to that. Paste it, copy, data to gate. Oh, phew. Good. So we now have him working in the map location as well as the others. So that's all good. Uh, I think that's everything. I think that's everything. So we should be able to set these guys going. Once this is on, let's see. Ooh, they're off. The carriers, the pickers are going. The knight is hopefully going to get a sword. And he'll probably return back to the station. I don't know. I have no idea what kind of behavior these guys have got. He's off killing something somewhere. Ooh, there's a creeper down there. Oh, let's go watch this. This should be quite entertaining. Do, do, do. Never seen a knight in action before. He's got his sword. Kick that creeper's ass. Yeah. Oh no. Uh oh. Is the knight okay? He is. I wonder if he took any damage. Interesting. Very interesting. He's off somewhere else now. He's like in mid swipe. Alright, we'll leave him to it anyhow. He's missioning. Maybe I should have put him inside the working area too. Nah. Sod it. Mob heavy. Right. You've picked up some arrows. That's fantastic. And our planter is off. So we have one planter, two harvesters, or two lumberjacks, and two pickers on a run now. That is awesome. We'll get them going. What I wanted to do is I want to keep that quarry going. So let's novel the rest of these. And if we stick them in our chest, then whoop, hopefully all the system will keep going. That will kick in again. Whoa. Hello. What? Who? You saw that too, yeah? What are you doing? Do you... I'm so confused. That's so weird. I wonder if that was something to do with the... The night. <laughs> oh well. Who cares? Anyhow, onwards and upwards. Uh, let's leave that to get on with what it's doing. The quarry is off again. That's awesome. That's good. Gives me a chance to clear these up. Because I wanted to put these... Closer to our collection chest, but not too close, um, because the collection chest is inside the working area so that the uh, pickers can drop their items off into them. I found that if the chest isn't inside the working area, the pickers don't understand where they need to put stuff. I don't know if that's a feature or a bug, in all honesty, but it's fine. Where's my night gone? Hmm, disappeared off into the wilderness somewhere, never mind. That's all good. Okay, so what I wanted to do was raise... Now we're going to take a pipe out of here and we'll move it along and up to here somewhere. So I wanted to raise the 
Uh, you see that box is a little bit in the way, in all honesty. Could probably do with moving that. Um, let me have a think. I'm just trying to work it out. Let's see, we're assuming we're going to move that. So we'll place four of these guys along here, I think. It should work okay like that, I hope. We shall see. And then what we're going to have is stations underneath that the delivery robot can use. So we'll just use some iron, oh, not iron ones, but I don't bring any glass. I've got some glass and I've got some cobblestone, so we'll make some new ones. I'm pretty sure, where's my, there it is. <laughs> I've lost my crafting table. I'm pretty sure that this should be fine as it is. And if we get ourselves, oh, this is going to get expensive now, but yeah. All right, then we've got some of that, and we're going to need some docking stations as well. Hopefully, hopefully this works how it's uh, how I'm hoping it will. Hopefully this will work how I'm hoping it will. Wow. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll get some plugs as well, just to differentiate uh, where are just to keep everything nice and separate. Again, this might be excessive, but I am a stickler for keeping these things. Oops. So reasonably tidy. Give me that back. Where did my no, oh, there, my other hand. My other hand. <laughs> One of the nine I have on me. There we go. That's cool. So what we should be able to do is slap down um, four collection points. And, and this is where it starts getting a bit tricky. If we label all of these up. Now I don't know. I have saw Space Toad do this once. So... This is going to be allow. Ooh, look at that! Allow craft, go to station, wake up, accept fuels, provide, provide items. I'm pretty sure is all it really needs. So if there's uh, 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 items in the inventory, which there are not, I don't know if that counts as fuel. That's the problem. All right. Well, if there's items in the inventory, then provide items. I guess. We shall see. This is a. Uh, Interesting. So let's add that to there. Like so. Warning gates triggers. Why might they be? That makes no sense. Well, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing missing at all. That's strange. Uh, good. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if that entirely is going to work. I'm hoping it will. The idea being that robots should become able to come along and grab the items and then deliver them into this box here. Which is where things start getting really interesting. Because we're going to have to do something like this. And this is where it starts getting to be a bit of a squeeze. <laughs> so in here, I think we need something more than an uh, iron and gate, to be honest. Um, so if there's no redstone signal, just say that this is accepting. Yeah, you see, what I want, what I really, really want, is I need a filter. So we need, like, emerald gates and stuff. That skeleton is weirding me out. I tell you that for nothing. Right, let's try an emerald gate on here. Let's see if this works. Oh, I'm used to having my um, magnet on, uh, like, on Dire Wolf. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, we'll get rid of you as well, you cheek. Not on that guy. Uh, yeah, no extra trees down here, thank you. God damn, that skeleton. That's so weird. So, now, um, if there's, uh, yeah, no redstone signal, whatever. Um, we're saying filter accept items, and I only want it to accept... Um, charcoal. Now we do have an example of charcoal somewhere. Lovely. In fact, I might have to take. Oh man. See, I'm wondering oh, if I need loads more emerald gates, then that means going back again. <laughs> Cut down and making a bunch of emerald gates, which it looks like we're going to need, to be honest. So this accepts only charcoal, and we shall also say. We've got a nice coloured background. Um, that redstone signal off, that we are not accepting. Is there a droid? Yeah, no. Uh, mm, mm, mm. We don't want any carriers going here. We only want delivery bots. So no carriers to there. And we want to say the same for over here. Now, I think what we're going to need to do is probably just set one of these up for the time being, which is a little bit annoying. But hey, slap that on there and we'll go again with the lack of signal. We'll say um, you are just providing items and we are forbidding carriers because we only want delivery robots so yes what do you reckon reckon this is gonna work 
I don't know if this is going to work. Let's put the oak in there and get something cooking. Like so. So I think, actually, thinking about it, the bottom is going to be the charcoal source here, isn't it? So that's going to have to come out the side. Hmm, what a bugger. Right, let's copy that gate configuration. Let's destroy that. Grab that, put you on here. Um, with the gate on there and the robot station on the side. Oop. Oop, come on, there we go. Like that, and we can paste that back on there. Oh, that didn't work, did it? What the hell? Oh no, I pressed the wrong buttons. <laughs> oh, this is so painful. Uh, right. Provide items. And forbid carriers. We only want the delivery guys. Provide items and it should only be providing like a little bit of charcoal. Let's even filter that out as well. There we go. Provide items. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Fine. Put you back into cook. Now hopefully this will work. If this works I'll be amazed basically. So if we set ourselves up a delivery robot um, and he can exist pretty much anywhere I suppose. We'll give him another station. I've got this nice little run up here now. Whoop. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Uh, put you there and we'll slap our delivery robot there. Now, hopefully, it says having a quick itch. Oh, a bit scratchy. Um, oh, it's not doing anything. Well, that's fantastic. It's a good start. Good start indeed. <laughs> Why is, what has happened to that? One of my pipes has changed. My cobblestone kinesis pipes has changed. That's a bit weird. Um, okay, I've got spare. That is strange. Okay, still okay. Grab them back, thank you. Um, so, yes, well, that obviously hasn't worked. Brilliant. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I'm using, not using the carriers, I'm using the delivery. I would have thought this providing items charcoal, charcoal. Um, maybe this is breaking stuff. Maybe just get rid of that for the time being. Stop banning certain things. There we go. I wonder what that is. Never mind. Pipe empty. Empty. There we go. So you're just providing charcoal all the time. You're not actually wanting anything. And you, my friend, if I get rid of this too, like so, are just accepting charcoal. You're doing nothing. You're doing absolutely nothing. Do you not have. You don't need a gate, you shouldn't you just work as soon as you're uh oh it's night time. Uh right, let's have a quick sleep. Oh no. My night's gone off as well. He's disappeared. I should have given him a working area, but no. I didn't. My <laughs> nothing's working. Nothing's working. Why is nothing working? You rotter. Um the quarry's finished. So we could probably disconnect that. Why are you not going anywhere, my friend? Why are you not going anywhere? That's not fun for me. Uh, I don't have any red alloy wire either, or the other uh, red wiring, cable wiring, pipe wiring, whatever you want to call it. Um, knackers, why are you not going off anywhere? You, I would have thought you would have done something awesome by now. So, there's nothing for you to do, basically. <laughs> so, oh well, that's a shame. Curses, I wonder why that didn't work. Maybe I've got the wrong one. What if I place, I think, it's just as a final tester. Just as a final tester, we'll use the carrier robot as well. We'll put them out into the world and see if he goes off and does anything exciting uh, instead. So we are running out of space here quite rapidly. We'll plonk you on the top, not like that. Plonk you on the top. Oh, uh well now. I'm thinking maybe I've got my stuff wrong. Maybe it's the deliver de delivery robot. Hello. What? No. That's odd. Oh, he's just moving stuff into there. No. No, I don't want you to just accept random items. Oh, buggeration. It screwed up all of our stuffs. I want you to take stuff out of this chest and put it in there. No, I want you to take stuff out of there and put it in there. Okay, I think he's just going to get into an infinite loop now. That's that's ace. Well, while he's doing that, maybe we can trick him into delivering something here. Oh, 
What's he getting? Oh, he's actually got some charcoal. Ooh, where's he going with it? No, oh, I've obviously got a lot of stuff to work out. <laughs> well, what are the odds? Complete fail. Oh, hello. What? No. Who? Where? What? Why? Oh, God. Mobs everywhere. Well, peeps, um, I'm going to have to go away and work out some more stuff with these robots, obviously. Uh, if anybody can leave a comment, that would be amazing. Just to uh, let me know what I did wrong. Woo! And uh, I'm just going to dispatch these zombies. Obviously, I have a little bit more learning to do. I thought I had it down, but no. I think I've got too many places for these uh, these droids to go and move stuff around into and out of, like here. Oh, there's the light bot. Look, there he goes. Dun, dun, dun. He's going to charge down a ton of skeletons. Looking good? Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Oh, pew, pew. They're trying to get him. No joy, buddy. No joy. Let's see. You start shooting each other. I need to give him some better swords, I think. Whoop. Whoop. Wow, night time in Billcroft 6. <laughs> night time in my Billcroft 6 world. A little bit sketchy. I'm liking that night bot though, that's pretty sweet. You, my friend, are an idiot. You're not helping at all. I'm going to need to put at least... I just need a ton of emerald gates again. So once again, I do believe I am stuck with the idea that I'm going to have to go back to base and build myself a hell of a lot of emerald gates. Which means I need some diamonds. Oh well, it's all working splendidly, I assure you going great but yeah so there we go I want to call it on there then it looks like um, robots are going to need a little bit more work oh, that was two emeralds in there there's one diamond in there and none in there so not too bad not too bad I'll have a little play between episodes and I'll see if I can get this little idea working and show you all next time but uh, for now I'm going to run up my little Heidi pole get up run up my Heidi pole and Heidi with my pumpkin pie and I'll say uh, yeah once again thanks a lot for watching guys I oh, know there's a gate spare I hope you enjoyed the episode um, yeah any advice on how to use these bleeders would be amazing else I'm just gonna have to go back to space toads video I think and check it all out oh my god look at all the arrows over there fantastic oh well I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, yeah I'll catch you next time cheers <laughs>